On August 17, 2023, a woman was arrested in front of her home after authorities had dug up enough concrete evidence to prove that she had played a role in the cold-blooded murder of her ex-husband. I'm, I'm here, Shanna. Oh. I'm outside. Oh, they're going to call you. This is Gardner Fernandez, and although she may look like any other regular woman, officials have many reasons to believe that this woman is a cold-blooded murderer. You have orders on your on the Instagram that is managing for you. You have orders oh. to just uh, have Grandma help you get into. Where are your jeans, Mom? Uh, According to police reports, Gardner Fernandez orchestrated the murder of her ex-husband with the help of her new husband, who allegedly hired 61-year-old Henry Tenen to shoot Bridgen. It's gonna be the white vehicle back there. We'll go to the passenger side. Yep. It was the 16th of February, 2022. Gardner Fernandez's ex-husband, Bridgen, had stopped his car to move a tire out of the road near Jacksonville Beach, Florida, when he was suddenly gunned down in front of his daughter. And then I, I still do have your medications with me. Okay. Um, so those will be checked into the jail. Okay. Um, just want to have a seat for me. Um, I do have a question for you. It's not... Um, regards to the charges at all those uh the medication that's in that little or divider yeah what's in those i can tell you after the arrest shanna gardner fernandez was accused of orchestrating the murder with the help of her new husband mario fernandez saldana on January 30th, 2023, an Atlanta police officer responded to a dispute at a convenience store somewhere in Atlanta. Little did the officer know, he was about to be checked by one of the boldest and probably the most stupid 17-year-old he'll ever encounter in his career. Upon arrival, the officer attempted to enter the store when an unknown man intentionally bumped into the officer. What's wrong with you, man? My bad, bro. What are you shoving me like that for, man? Man, nah, man, I'm just trying to walk Wait, You want to see me walking right in the store, bro? My bad. How you just going to walk into me like that, bro? This is 17-year-old Trayvon Shelton. Shelton tells the officer he had no intention of bumping into the officer and that he was just trying to walk, even though it's clear to the officer that he's lying through his teeth. You have anything on your You have five Man, you just saw me, man. Watch your my mouth, bad. man. No, it's not a my bad. You saw me coming in the store, man. What you doing? Stop playing, man. What you got on you? Trayvon continues to deny purposely bumping into the officer and tells the officer that he doesn't have anything on him. But the officer doesn't buy it. He knows Trayvon has a gun on him and he's about to find it. Don't move. I got a gun on me. Six nine recovered. Don't move. The officer does eventually find an altered firearm with him and cuffs him. How old are you, man? How much? Seventeen. Who gun is it? Done, boy. It turns out that 17-year-old Trayvon Shelton is a confirmed gang member. He also had a warrant for failure to appear on a robbery charge out of DeKalb County. Shelton was arrested and charged with simple assault, obstruction, theft by receiving, unlawful possession of automatic weapons, and possession of a firearm by a person under the age of 18. It's safe to say he won't be getting out anytime soon. In February 2020, body cam footage captured a tense incident in Cleveland, Ohio. An officer attempted to stop a driver wanted by the Cuyahoga County Sheriff's Department for multiple offenses. 
Ignoring commands, the driver reached an apartment, resisting the officer's attempts to control him. Well, a second man, who's the driver's brother, came out of the apartment and was also uncooperative while the officer was still trying to control the driver. Despite warnings, the driver was tased after non-compliance. Subsequently, he was taken to Lake West Hospital for medical attention, treated, and released back into police custody on the same day. Stop! What are you doing? Stop! What? Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Please do not touch me. I'm not doing anything. Stop. You are being recorded. I did not do anything, ma'am. Get on the ground. Whoa! Get on the ground. Ma'am, you are being recorded. That's fine. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Excuse me, I don't have a weapon. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Why? Get on the ground. See, my hands are free. Okay, get on the ground. I didn't do anything. You're not listening. Get on the ground. Damn, I didn't do anything. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get him out. Despite the officer's persistent attempts, the driver not only refused to comply, but also began recording the officer, insisting she was in the wrong. In this critical moment, the driver's brother emerged from the apartment, seemingly to protect him. It was precisely at this point that the second officer arrived and deployed the taser on the resistant driver. Listen, this is your problem. You don't you listen. You just want to talk. Yeah. I don't know why she pulled me over. It doesn't matter if you know. She was probably going to explain it to you. You didn't want to listen. You jumped out of the car and tried to run into the house. I didn't try to run into the house. All I did got out of the car, asked what was going on, and went to my mom's house. That's it. Here, let's hold your side here. Anything I need to worry about that's oh, on you. Man. Anything sharp. Oh, can you get this off? Oh, I bet you do, and they sell it in these little baggies too, don't they? Actually, no, they put they gave it in the bottle. You don't have to answer that. that. I'm just don't matter to me. Oh, don't get that out! That's how you do it. That's the You're way supposed to, get to them wait out. for the EMT, I know how this go. Yeah, you know a lot, don't you? After handcuffing the driver's brother, the officer efficiently secured him in the car. They then proceeded to the driver, aiming to transport him to jail. However, before heading to the jail, a detour was made for the driver's medical evaluation. All right, let's come to our feet, man. Let's go. Just go to your knees. Go to your knees first, and there then go. stand up. There you go. You got room in yours, or you got somebody in it already? All right, we're going to walk right over here, sir. Right. We're gonna do Good all that here in a little point. bit. You had a chance you to be. You want to uh, jump out of the car and try to run into the house? Here, That's the problem. Go ahead and have a seat. Get in, the, get in that car. I'm being detained. I'm not being arrested, right? You're under arrest. Oh, you're under arrest. Why am I under arrest? Because of everything you did after you jumped out of the car. When you turn it in an intersection. All right. I use my blinker. You didn't, number one, you didn't use your blinker on through. I did. I used both of my blinkers. I used my blinker when I turned left. Are you let me know when here, you want me to talk. I used my blinker turning right when I came into okay. here. You let me know when you want me to talk. Go ahead. Okay. You got off the freeway. Yeah. Use my okay. blinker. You did. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then when you switched into the center lane, you did not use your blinker. You should have you okay. did that before I even came here then. If that's the case, then I did uh, use my blinker. You, okay. You done? Or you want me to continue? Because my blinker was still blinking to go into the left lane. Okay. Are you done? And you do approach 305. I'm sorry, you approach Euclid Avenue from mm -hmm. 305. Mm -hmm. When you make a left turn, you got to stay in the left lane, and then you indicate to get into the right, right lane. You just went right into the right lane. That's an improper turn in an intersection. Go ahead. Okay? And then I activate the lights, and you continue in the Severn. I wasn't resisting. Can one of you guys meet me down? I was not resisting arrest. See me down here I did not resist the rest at all. Okay. So when I asked you to, to stop going into the house, to get on the ground, you, that's not resisting? You pulled your your weapon on me. Not at that point, no. You pulled your weapon on okay. me, and I'm unarmed. Okay. Well, it was unmistakably apparent that he exhibited a considerable degree of resistance, still refusing to acknowledge any wrongdoing and even asserting his innocence throughout the encounter. You, so he doesn't stop. He wants to run out of the house and he wants to run in the house. And you close the door. You did the right thing, okay? The problem is when there's one of me, and would you understand that I'm a lot smaller, okay? Listen to me, let me finish, okay? He's not, he's not complying with my orders and I'm by myself. And there's two of you and one of me. Though. All I did was ask you to go in the house. You can videotape all day long. I that's was your, standing in front of listen, my stand. That's fine, listen, let me finish, man. Let me finish, okay? You can videotape all day long. I don't have a problem with that. But when there's, let me finish, man. Let me finish, okay? 
you can videotape all day long, but when I need you to go in the house while I'm trying to finish what I need to do, when there's one of me until my until my backup comes, that's all. That's the problem I have. So that's why you were being detained until I can figure out what's going on, okay? There was one of me, there's two of you, okay? I need to put myself in a better position. That's all, okay? You're not going to jail, you're not under arrest. We had to detain you until we figured out what was going on, okay? That's all, okay? That's all. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. He's running at me. Or wait for me. I I have to protect myself, okay? I understand. I need to go home tonight. I don't know what's going on. I asked him to show me his hands. I didn't know he had a sling first. He did. He complied with that. And then he's trying to run away from me. I said, don't go in the house. Okay. What's going on with him? Talk to me. That's not what I'm here for. I'm just trying to protect myself until somebody else comes. And that wasn't working either. He doesn't want to comply with anything. But when I have two of you and there's one of me, I need to do, I need to have the upper hand. I need to, I need to go home tonight. And whatever that is to make sure that I go home tonight. Okay? All I was asking you to do is just to go in the house for a minute. So you can tape all you want. But listen, just listen to me at that time. Okay? I get it. It's your brother, man. I get it. That's all. All right? Come on out. Come on out. Tur uh, bend at your waist, okay? Because the locks are underneath. Somebody got my glasses and my phone? Uh, I think we do, yeah. All right, here's the deal. He's going to jail for a couple things, okay? Once he gets booked in, he'll get a phone call and let you know what's going on, okay? What about my glasses? You know where I never heard Let me get his phone number. I do not. What's your phone number, man? Does he live here with you? No. Okay. Okay. All right. The very next day after the incident, the suspect found himself in court where he decided to plead guilty to obstructing official business and resisting arrest. The judge sentenced him to spend the next 30 days in the Lake County Jail for these charges. On a different note, the second person seen in the video was released without facing any charges after he calmed down. In Columbus, Ohio, in April 2022, the scene unfolded near the Columbus Zoo, as Solinger found himself driving amidst law enforcement vehicles, directing traffic along State Route 750. The situation escalated when he was confronted by a deputy, explaining that he was attempting to reach his wife and children. However, as the deputy requested his driver's license, Solinger made a daring decision to drive off. Despite his attempts to evade capture, Solinger eventually stopped his vehicle, prompting an officer to deploy a stun gun before taking him into custody. What are you doing? Pull over! Stop! Hello, for you. I hurt anybody. I'm just what are you doing? I'm trying to get my wife and kids. Okay, and you think that trying to kill somebody is the way to do that? Give me your driver's license. Give me your driver's license. I'm asking for your driver's license. I asked. He said he's going to the zoo. Oh my god. Hey. Hey, watch out. Don't let him kill somebody. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hey, ma'am, get out of here. Go ahead. Go up. Here, hold. Stop this guy. Stop. Well, Solinger tried to run away, thinking he could escape from the police. However, he didn't get far before getting arrested and facing the consequences. Now, catching him was a bit tough. They had to use a stun gun on him to put handcuffs on him. Get on the ground! Okay. Turn around! Get on your stomach now! Okay, yeah, get on sure. your stomach! Turn around! Get on your stomach! Get on the ground! Do not move! What is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No! It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. You almost hit a trooper. 
I'm sorry. 125, we have him in custody. Have a taser used, start me a supervisor. It's just about my wife and kids, who are me. And, and give I me a her. medic. And it's just about her. And I love you guys, and I know you don't mean to hurt me. Okay? okay. So I just need... One in custody. Yeah, I got eat. I just need for you guys to help me up. Well, you're under no, arrest. You are going to jail. Down. Okay. You have anything on you? No, nothing at all. Just in this. Why did you not listen to us? Because it wasn't about me. It was about my wife and kids. All right. Guess what? Now it's about you. Okay. Where's your ID at, man? It's, I don't have anything. Did on you already me. search? Listen, him? No. just stand me up. I will not hurt you. Well, you're not moving right now. We've got a medic coming. Going to jail. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You are. No, it's Nirvana, and I'm hurt. I'm not gonna hurt you. I swear. I just stuttered right there What's on accident. What's going on with your wife and kids? I'm trying to get to them. I just need to communicate. Okay. Well, that's not happening. Well, it is though, because you're gonna help me, and I love you, and it's not about you now. There's a time for that. But right now, right. I just needed to get Let's back to them. Let's set them up. Okay. Okay. Sit up. Okay. I'm sorry. Sit over here. Okay, that's fine too. Just can I just feel my hands real quick? Just really quick. I know you guys need this. Alright, let's bring him over here to the curb and set him down. Sit down. Yes. Right here. Yes. Just can I feel my hand? It's gotta be like a okay? So they need to understand that it's okay and I love you. Just, just take the cuffs off. 120. Joseph Solinger, 36, of Pataskala, is confronting multiple charges, including a felony for failure to comply, along with misdemeanor charges of inducing panic and driving under the influence. Additionally, he has been assigned a $25,000 bond. Well, after witnessing the case of this man, meet a woman who thinks of herself as a superwoman, thinking she can effortlessly slip away from the police. Little did she know that soon enough, reality would set in. No one, not even a self-proclaimed superhero, can truly escape the long arm of the law. On February 22, 2022, police officers arrested 31-year-old attorney Bijou Beatrice after multiple people had witnessed the suspect use her car to hit a couple of people in the parking lot. The deadly incident left four people injured, including a 69-year-old who had to be transported to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. However, when officers asked Beatrice her reason for doing it, they quickly discovered there was something much more sinister at play. I hear voices in my head telling me to do it. Telling you to do what? To kill people and to kill myself. You have your license with you? Yes, it's in my bag. I hit someone at the fresh market. Why did you do that? Because I hear voices telling me to kill people. At the fresh market. The coldness and lack of empathy Beatrice shows only means one thing. The 31-year-old attorney is not in her right state of mind. Here, Beatrice explains her mental health battles to a medical expert. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. What's going on? Um, I went to fresh market and I just ran people over because I've been hearing voices in my head telling me to kill myself and to kill people. Okay. So I did it. And what did you, what did you do at Fresh Market, you're saying? I ran people over yeah. with my car. On purpose? On purpose. Do you know how many people? I don't know how many people. I'll probably just keep going. Okay. Do you know how, you know how fast you were going? Um, I think maybe like 30 miles an hour. Okay. And did but you? I accelerated so as hard as I could. Okay. And did you injure yourself at all? No. I'm not injured. Okay. But I want to go jump off the bridge. Okay. Well, you're obviously um, the police officers are going to get you the help that you need. You know, I'm just. I'm here from the fire department just to see if you have any injuries. 
I don't have any injuries. Do you take any medication for anything? Yes, I take um, Trileptol for bipolar and Zipracidone, Geodon for schizophrenia. So those are two things that you've been diagnosed with? Mm -hmm. Do you have any other medical problems? Beatrice tells the officer that she wants to jump off the bridge and that she takes medication for bipolar disorder and schizophrenia. She also reveals the reason that might have led her to commit such a hideous crime. Uh, how often do you take your medication? Um, I've been taking it, but I've been stopping taking it. Like, you're not taking it like you're supposed to? Yeah, I took my medication, but... I stopped taking it on the weekends. For, for what reason? Because I would go to see my boyfriend on the weekends and I couldn't want him to know I had the condition. So can you advise on any airway? So when was the last time you took your medicine? No way. Um, this morning. But then you, so you take it during the week but you skip on the weekend? Mm -hmm. Okay. But you took it this morning. Sometimes I, I skip it. How often do you see your, your, your doctor? I have a psychiatry appointment tomorrow. When was the last time you saw him? Uh, December? Beatrice reveals to the officer that sometimes she skips her medication, a decision that usually comes with severe consequences like poor decision making, sleeplessness, at risk behaviors, and worst case, suicide. While officers are still trying to figure out what to do with Beatrice, her boyfriend was also taken to the station for questioning. Right to her. Can you tell me what the police report says about Yes. She went to the fresh market. She was down like one of the parking stalls, then just drove into all the people that were standing and sitting on the sidewalk and then said that she wanted to kill them. Is that normal for her? Is that like, how long have you guys been together? Since New Year's. The first six weeks, it was great. From her voice, she said that she was trying to kill them? Yeah. 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 Really? That, that I heard, yeah. To said it to the I, Yeah, she said it multiple, multiple times. Did she know these people? No. Imagine being told that your girlfriend just tried to kill people because she hears voices in her head telling her to kill people. Not the proudest moment to be a boyfriend. Beatrice was later arrested and charged with four counts of attempted murder. She was also expelled and disbarred from the Bar Association because of her actions. On December 28, 2018, police officers from New Mexico arrived at Las Cruces after getting reports of a gang member attempting to steal cars in the area. Put your hands up! Oh, you. I got no trouble. I got no weapon. Get on this side. Back to me, I-97. Give him command. Put your hands, put your hands on your head. Put your hands on your head! Put your hands on your head! However, this gang member is not prepared to go down without a fight. Not even if the entire police force in New Mexico were hot on his heels. Put your hands on your head! You. Turn around and walk towards me back. Or walk towards me backwards. Get back inside. Kill me. Turn around and put your hands backwards. Walk towards me backwards. Right there. Kill me. Despite the officer's warnings and threats, the suspect refused to heed, even going so far as telling the officers to kill him. We don't want anything to happen, we just want you to freaking come talk to us. I don't want something to happen. Kill me, Five people ran up on our ass. You got lethal. You got lethal, right? Yes, I got lethal. Five people ran up on me right now. Go back that way. Go what? back that way. Go that way. I hate to go back. That turn way. around and walk towards us. Just turn around and walk towards us. You guys are my. Turn around and walk towards us. We don't want to hurt you, man. We just want to oh, figure it out. Back we back just want to figure it out. That's it, man. Go back that way. 907 Central. We just want to figure it out, man. That's yeah, he's just code 19. We're trying to get him to follow command so we can detain him. With the hands up. We're just going to figure it out, brother. I take care of my people. For sure, man. Okay, 737, we get one more unit to block traffic. I'm a local. What's up? I get you, bro, but like I'm telling you, I just need you to walk towards me with hands up, please. Is there any 
years old. Keep your hands. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Nine two nine. Come back here across the street so the crossfire is not. Look at me. Look at me, bro. I just see. Put your hands up. I got less lethal. He's going that side. Going that side. Keep driving. Go. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. You don't have the heart. Get on the ground. Do it. On the ground. Do it. Get on the ground. Do it. Watch your crossfire. Get on the ground. I got you. I got you. Clock you. I got it. Watch your back. Watch your back. Watch your back. Watch your back. After many efforts, the officers are eventually able to subdue the suspect using a taser. But if you think this was the end of the investigation, think again. All you had to do was listen. Yeah, when I pulled up, he, he was doing something that Camaro right there. Like he was trying to hit it or fight the drivers or something. You want to make T5 with them? Yeah. I told him to stop and they got a little pissed. Here, will you grab his cash for me real quick? After arresting the gang member, the officers searched him and found a wire, spray paint, some cash, and contraband in his pocket. It's also at this point that we find out the reason why the suspect was refusing to give in and threatening the police was because he was trying to buy time for his partner, who was carrying a weapon, to escape. The officers then go around asking questions and interviewing people to get to the root of the case. Man, I'm not trying to hem you up or anything, okay? I'm not trying to, like, waste your time. Did he do anything to you guys? Did he... Uh, you just pulled out, like, some kind of gun on there. Okay, did you see where it was? Yeah, it was like a beauty gun, though. Okay. Can you put the, the other video so I can just see his descriptors of the other guy? The first video? Yeah, the the guy with the green, because he, he had a black beanie on, right? That's him. That's him? That's him, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, man. Stay there, brother, really quick. Let me see your hands. Yeah. Let me see your hands. Yeah. Okay, turn around, man. I'm going to yeah. cut you down really quick. Go, go. And release your fingers for me, please, like this. Uh, yeah. Hey, bro, so they told me that you had a gun? No, no, I had no gun. You didn't have any gun? No, I had no, no gun. Okay, I'm just going to patch you down really quick yeah, for your weapons, no okay? Problem, Stay like that for me. Okay, yeah. No, I've seen old dude acting all crazy and here and I was talking to him and he just started flipping all on people. Okay. So, uh, I, I walked on way. So, who had the gun? And release your fingers, bro. Uh, I didn't see no gun, Hoss. So, how do you got you or the other dude? No, some other dude was running around like all crazy, tripping. What do you got here, man? Nothing, dude. That's just me. your earphones? Yeah, yeah, my belt. Go ahead and open your stance for me. Yeah, yeah. No, I just passing through and got dude was hollering at me. And I talked to him and he started flipping all on You live there. here? Uh, no. I mean, started flipping out on everybody. So, I was just like, what the f I was walking around just seeing what was going on and just trying to step back to the crowd, you know what I'm saying? Okay, man. Just give me a quick second. I'm just going to have an officer talk to you about what happened yeah, again. Yeah, okay, no problem. We have, we have some cool. video that you were here. Yeah, yeah, okay. I was here, dude. Okay. I was here, dude. I, I met the dude talking to me. Austin, think... can you talk to him? Yeah. Can I talk to you? Okay, okay. Just get so, for a while. I have a video that she showed me. She recorded everything. So, in the video, you can see that guy and him together trying to start crap with somebody beating up another dude here as well kicking him um to her first she said that they did have a gun he had it first the guy that we and then he had it so i already patted him down he doesn't have a weapon on him okay. so probably he went ahead and dumped it and came back but you can see him in the video that she showed me that it was him and, and this you, guy in the green you saw 1080 in the video you can't see the 1080 but she said that she saw it okay on September 5th, 2023, in Lee County, New Mexico, an incident captured on body cam footage unfolded as law enforcement officers responded to reports of erratic driving, nearly resulting in a collision with another vehicle. The suspect, identified as the intoxicated girlfriend of a sergeant, was discovered in a black Mitsubishi Outlander SUV with a one-year-old baby on board. Well, despite the strong smell of alcohol, the deputies had a hard time arresting her because she wasn't willing to cooperate. Perhaps being the girlfriend of a sergeant, she expected special treatment. All right, so uh, we got a call for a 47. Uh, it was a black SUV with that license plate number. So the vehicle was, uh, she's pressing me to help. Uh, the vehicle was uh, parked right here, okay? 
So I parked down there by the key energy to okay. try to see the vehicle pull out so I can get observations of the vehicle because we had a caller that didn't want contact. So um, at that time, our, uh, somebody said that it, it may be a conflict for us. And then at that time, my mom pulled up next to her and the mom pulled up next to her. Uh, she took off driving, uh, went uh, southbound and then kind of hit the curb real hard, almost hitting that fence. And then a mod blocked her in. And then that's when I pulled up next to her. Um, 18 or one away. Get this mother out of my car. One step out. Get out. Dispatch, can we get an ETA on county? That's right, step out of the car. Where was 18 now? 18 is 97. Almost struck the fence. That's right, step out of the car. Huh? Well, my name is Officer Solomon with the Hospital Police Department, okay? The reason I'm making contact with you is because we got a call in that you're intoxicated driving, okay? Obviously, when I saw you, you just drove onto a curb and almost struck a fence, okay? So I'm gonna need you to step out. Okay? Did you take the keys out? Oh, you can stay in the car, just give me your key fob. Where's the key fob, girl? Do you have it on you? No. There it is. Oh my, really? You, you're not getting any, any, because who you know, it don't matter, okay? You know it's against the, against the law to be driving under the influence, correct? It's not the key fob. Okay, you do know that, right? So I don't know why you think you're above the law because who you're dating. You're gonna get out of the car, I'm gonna have to tip, pull you out. Okay, okay, we're not playing a game like you did with the other officers. Okay? Are you gonna get out of the car? What game are we playing? I'm not playing any game with you. Are you gonna get out of the car? Yes or no? No. Okay. Out of one out on the garage. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Really? Oh, what the You're gonna listen. Yeah. You don't get any favors because who you're dating. You understand that? Don't resist. I'm gonna stop. I can call all your students. Stop. No. Yeah, stop. You already messed stop. up. Stop, man. We're 15 one time. You're not wrong. Stop. You're wrong. Stop. Ten you one. did this. Ten That's one. on you. That is not on the road. coming from 1300 block of Miss West. The suspect, identified as the girlfriend of a sergeant, is cornered and instructed to step out due to suspected intoxication. Things got even worse when she started acting aggressively, so they had to take her out of the car and arrest her. The officer emphasizes equality under the law, stating that no one is above it. Well, the officer stands firm, asserting that personal connections won't grant special treatment. This shows that everyone has to follow the same rules, no matter who they know or are friends with. I'm sorry. You're right. I'm sorry. Bro. I mean, I just don't, I don't know her I'm issue. I'm so embarrassed. I don't. I tried. Was the child inside the car? You grabbed the car. You grabbed the kid. Yeah, I watched him get the kid out of the car. Yeah, I did. As I was pulling. Okay, up. get the child's information. Yeah. Are you? I guess your mom. Grandma. Grandma. I had no clue. Child. I saw it on the way and I called Sarge. No, he was doing it, but he was supposed yeah, to no, do I it. Yeah, no, I know. She started rolling and I didn't want her to. No, I know. I called Sarge on the way over here. Hello. Deputy Sanchez with the Lee County Sheriff's Office. Are you okay? Do you need medics to come see you? No. Okay. Okay, so they're going to switch out the cuffs, okay? Huh? So that's the one from up north for you? No, I'm taking it. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Dash. Come into the Capitol's office. Sure. Do you want to yeah, see if she'll do SFSD? Yeah, I was going to talk to her. I'm still talking to her. If you guys want to go that way, I'm sorry. Thank you, guys. Hey, Desiree. So, obviously, we know you were driving, right? And I can clearly smell that you were drinking. I don't know your whole situation. I don't know what's going on. But I just wanted to ask you, do you want to submit to some tests to see if you're fit for to drive? What was that? No? Okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, What's your name? It's Sanchez. Abisa. What is it? Abisa. No. That's a different officer. Yeah. Why? Do you want that officer? No. Is there something with that officer? Yeah, I'm not, that, I'm not the officer that you think I Okay. You good? Take him off. I'll be here. 
Okay, no. we're gonna no. take them off over here. You're good, girl. Moderate. Tell me he supported me. Oh. Ready? You. Hey, no. You have to get told me. What? I don't know why he would say that. Go ahead and get him. He said he f you. I don't hey, know why he would as say a that. subordinate. Get okay, let's go. Go ahead and get, get on. No. Get on. Don't. Hey, go ahead and get on. Get on. No. Amon go said he f you as the subordinate. He get on. told me. Right now. Go ahead and get on. No, Jasmine. He go told me he f you. Get up. Get up. Get up or you're going to go. Get up. You're going to catch more charges. Get, get up. up. No, I don't give get a Get up. Get up. Get up. You get know up. what? Get up. Get in there. Do watch it. your step. It just watch your step. Get in there. I'm asking you to get in there, please. All right. All right. Watch your step. Helps up. me as my okay. case against y'all. Ready? He told me. Hey, get okay. up. Jasmine. Hey, get, get up. up. No, he told me. Get up. Get in there. He told me. Get out. I will you will not. Get in there. That's enough. Stop. That's enough. That's enough. Now knock it off. I'm not going right. to tell you again. You're going to knock it off. You're not going to come out here and kick one of my Thank deputies. You. Thank you. Are you going to stop? You. Or are you going Thank to stop? You for the evidence. Are you going to Thank Now stop. Get up. No. Thank you. Sit up. Thank you. Sit up. Sit up. No. Thank you for the evidence. No. Don't you. Get up. Get up. Yes. She, kicked. Huh? she kicked. Even after being told not to kick the officers, the problem didn't stop there. It kept going at the jail. She didn't cooperate at all, got physically aggressive, and even used bad language, which highlights a challenging encounter for law enforcement. Are you going to take the test or not? If you say anything other than a yes or a no, that's your answer is no. If you say yes, and then we'll get you in here and we'll take the test. Those are your options. All right, let's we'll get up inside. so we can go and take the test. Let's just right inside. It's, no, we're going it's in right now. So she's, well, not doing, she's not doing I'm not doing, doing anything. anything. So we're going it's in here to take conflict. the test. So first of all, look, we're not going to argue. We can put you back in the unit and take you right to jail. So okay. we're the ones. She's just getting the door for us. She's just getting the door for us. We're just going there. We're going to do the test. He's okay. doing everything. He's doing it's the test. conflict. So I'm going to run the test, Desiree. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so let's go. She's holding the door for us. She's holding the door. I'm not going to be in there. She's just holding the door for us, so we can go inside. I can't do both. I can't. It's a conflict. Well, she's not here, so it's not a conflict. Well, she opened the door since she was here. Just let me know, please. We can't do that. If I pass, if so, I don't pass this time, You said you were going to take the test. Kids. Right now we're here. Now it's time to take the test, I'm okay? I'm telling you, if I Desiree. fail, I will not have my Okay, kids. if the machine tones out, we're going to take it as a refusal, and we're just going to take you right over to the jail. A big blow. <laughs> just gonna Breathe in real big. Keep going. Please, Victor. We still need this second test before we can figure everything out. So in a second, you're going to do the same thing you did already. Same thing. Well, her breath test showed a 0.36 BAC, which is four and a half times over the legal limit. This significantly elevated BAC shows the severity of the intoxication level, presenting a substantial violation of the law when it comes to driving. Are you okay? I don't want to go home, please. Okay. In the end, the suspect faced multiple charges, including aggravated DWI, abuse of a child, two counts of battery upon a peace officer, three counts of resisting, evading, or obstructing an officer, reckless driving, open container, and driving on roadways laned for traffic. Back on September 29th, 2023, officers were going about their normal day when they found a woman lying on the ground near a sports bar. They decide to help the woman despite having no idea of the kind of person she was. How are you? You all right? Bro, who served her? We got we got an ambulance coming. 
Despite the officers lifting her up to talk, the woman is unable to say a word. Using her ID, the officers later identify the woman as Felicia Franklin, Clayton County's Board of Commissioners Vice Chair. But to understand how someone with such a huge position found herself in a huge mess, here's a witness speaking to the officers about what happened. Just let, just let EMS check her out for, for an hour, CYA, okay. and then y'all can just get her out of here. Y'all can take, take, take her. Just, yeah, we'll take yeah. her. We, we want to make we, sure we, she we, doesn't we, have we, like we, some we, kind of head trauma or something. She yeah. was staggered out here, so I asked her. I didn't know who she was. I asked her. I said, hey, are you driving? She said, no, she had a ride. So, okay. Yeah, she said she had a ride. Okay. Okay. Uh, I prefer to get her home. We get her home safe. As long as she's, as long as she's not in trauma, the trauma is out of my hand. Yeah, but. Shortly after speaking to the witness, EMS arrives to try to speak to Franklin, but Franklin is unable to say a word. What's your name? I already told him that. You don't know. I already let him know that you are going to take her. So, so if you can answer my questions, I need to take you to the hospital. I can't leave Take her? Yeah, I'll put it in the back of my truck and take a look at it. Is this your bag sitting here? What color's your purse? Who are you here with? You came by yourself? Are you sure as hell ain't gonna drive home? Not like this. So we need to get you somewhere besides right here. Gotcha. Is this her purse and yes. belongings here? Yes, sir. Okay. And she's here by herself? Yes, sir. I can have something. Huh? So they gave me something to drink. Something uh, in your drink? Or a drink that you ate a lot? Uh, susceptible to. Like, I can't drink tequila. Franklin not only refuses EMS, but she also tells the medical expert that somebody gave her something to drink. Despite refusing EMS, Franklin's terrible state combined with her new revelation meant the medical expert had no choice but to take her in and examine her further. As the officers carry her into the truck, Franklin can be heard crying and screaming her lungs out. Franklin's friend later arrives at the scene, but this makes Franklin even more agitated as she repeatedly tells her friend that she believes her drink was spiked. I don't know what happened, I came here, and I enjoyed the music, and I got left. Okay, I'm right here, I'm right here, I'm not going anywhere. That's whiskey. You drink bourbon? I don't know. What have, what have you been drinking tonight? While emergency officials examine Franklin, her friend Patty explains to the officers what she thinks happened to the county official. The way it smells is it's some type of like whiskey or bourbon plus with the, the medication. With the medication. Plus the medication. Plus yeah. The medication. Later, probably made her I sick. saw when it came up, it wasn't anything other than fluid. It wasn't fluid. Yeah, there, there was some specs of something in there, but 
I said, the, only, the only reason we called Dave was just because she did roll off the bench. No, she needs to be looked at. We, we she just called went, me and her phone went dead and I couldn't get her back. Kayla found out where she was and we both came here. Yeah. You know, I live right off Spivey, so. Yeah, no, you're good. Yeah. But we just, because she rolled off. Oh, no, I get you. I understand. Yeah, we want to make sure she's okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. No, literally, last Friday, I spent all day in the emergency room with her, which she couldn't breathe. Yeah. Because she had bronchitis, acute bronchitis. She's been on medication for two weeks, so she probably shouldn't have been out tonight, she, but I'm she sure she had out. cabin fever, right. is what it was. She had cabin fever, once just wanted to listen right. to some music. Patty tells the officers that Franklin has been through some tough periods in the last few weeks. This includes having to battle acute bronchitis, a common respiratory illness. Patty also tells the officers that Franklin has been on bed rest for some time and probably got sick of staying at home, hence her questionable night. But as Patty explained what was going on with her friend, Franklin was shouting and screaming at the people trying to help her. You get the f shots. Yeah, Lisa. Yeah. tries to calm her friend, but Franklin continues to shout and scream before going insane completely. He's gone! He's gone! He's this gone! Hey, you need to stop. Felicia. You're gonna make it worse than what it needs to be. Felicia! You f no! No, what? she's not. He's not making it worse. Even he's let trying. We're all trying you. to help, baby. No, you're not. Felicia. No, you're not. Honey, you no, fell down. Not. You fell down. We want to make sure that no, you're okay. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. We got to no, make sure you're okay. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, no, you're not. Felicia. Several minutes eventually pass by, and no one is able to calm Franklin down. That's until one of the medical officers reached his breaking point and made it clear to Franklin that he was done with her drama. You will sit still, and you will shut up. At this point in time, I've had it. I've had it. We're at zero right now. I've tried every avenue to help you, but you are not cooperating with me. You're going to sit here, and you're going to be quiet, and we're going to take you to the hospital. Am I clear? Am I clear? Patty, get him up. I don't face care face. who Patty is. You are get him up my patient. Face. Yes, ma'am. My last name is Mose. And I work for the face. city of Morrow. Get him out my face. Now, what you're seeing here is not the result of too many shots of tequila or beer. This is what a mental breakdown can look like at times. This is why looking after your mental health is so important. Call Katie. Get him out my face. So the choice is, do you want to go to the hospital or do you want to go to jail? You get about my face. You did not handle no, this properly. We're going to the hospital. Hush, we're going to the hospital. Be quiet. Because you don't want to go to the hospital because the jail won't take you this drunk. Yep. I'm not that drunk. You can take me to the hospital. Get about my face. Get about my face. You be out here get about my face. I'm making you safe. Get about my face. I'm making you safe. Get about my face. You call my father, you call anybody, but get him out of my okay. face. All right, we got you. Get him out of my face. Get him out of my face. Don't you move this truck until you get him out of my face. Shortly after, the officers are eventually able to move Franklin to the hospital. Another officer could hear Franklin still shouting and screaming, this time begging for her mother to be called.
I don't want to be at Southern Regional. I just want my mom. Okay. Like that for me. Like no. That. Yeah. I don't understand. You're right, I don't. I do not understand. I just want my mom. <laughs> Weeks after the incident, county officials voted to remove Franklin from her position. I guess this is a lesson for all of us. Take your meds, take care of your mental health, and drink moderately. If you think Beatrice's story is crazy, that's because you don't know about our next suspect. On November 28, 2015, Ohio State Police officers initiated a traffic stop on 23-year-old Taylor Nicole after police got reports from distressed callers about someone stealing packages off their porches. What happens next is absolutely incredible. Because, I don't know, why, why are we being asked if we have guns? Well, the, stop right there. First off, you're, you're driving without any taillights. Second I, off, we keep getting reports of people stealing packages off the porches, where all these boxes come from. We were building gingerbread houses. I got them out the recycling. I just stopped right there and got some. From where? Right there, where I, right there, just past the police at. When the officer asks Nicole where she got the boxes in her car, she tells him that she got it out of the recycling. But the officer doesn't buy it. He knows Nicole is lying because of the way she stutters when asked about the location of the recycling site she reportedly got her packages from. Things continue to go from bad to worse for Nicole when police realize that Nicole also hired the help of a 15-year-old to do her dirty works. He's underage. He's only 15. Okay, so when we go watch these videos from all the ring cameras of people stealing off the porches, is it going to be him? Because he's wearing a mask just like the person in the video. No, that's because he keeps his hair down. So he's wearing a ski mask because he keeps his hair And it's cold outside. Yes, it's cold. He he's does in a one, car. Why would he's he be the in? one who does my delivery. Do you have a driver's for license me? on you? No, sir. My mom does. Can I please just have her? No, what's your name? When asked if the 15-year-old is the same person in the clips they have of someone stealing packages, Nicole denies it. She tells the officer that it's only a coincidence that the boys wear in the same mask as the suspect in their clips. Realizing that the situation was swinging out of her control, Nicole results to faking an anxiety attack and asking for her mommy. No, mommy. Can you open the doors for What's me? What's your name? I'm scared, Taylor. Can I please step out? Calm. Just sit down. I... Just calm down. Last name, please. Taylor. Nicole. Nicole? Yes. Sit down. Hold on, I need to breathe. I'm sorry. Sit down. I have bad anxiety. Mommy, can you tell them? Sit down. I'm trying to. You're not. I'm sitting you down. You need to start Mommy. listening. Okay? I'm trying to, sir. I'm sorry. Taylor and Nicole? My anxiety is really bad. I'm about to faint. Taylor and Nicole? Yes, sir. That's your last name? Yes, sir. Calling Mommy and faking anxiety. That is exactly what guilty people do. Unfortunately for Nicole, the officers were having none of it and immediately detained her. Alright, at this point, go ahead and step out for me. Put your phone right there for me. Mommy! Put your what's, phone right what's there. What's going on? You're being detained as well. Mommy! No, mommy, go to my house! Come get my phone! Put your hands together. Mom, can you pass in my mom my location, please? She doesn't need any location. Yes, she does. How old are you? All right, well, then she doesn't need to know. Mommy, please come give me a... Please, Mom! After detaining her, the officers proceeded to ask Nicole a few questions about the things in her car, along with her recent activities at night. So right now, the car's being seized because uh, you have a bunch of stolen packages in it, okay? Um, he's under arrest and you're under arrest. Got it? Yes, sir. Okay. Did, well, I mean, how many houses did you guys hit? I guess I didn't I don't. Because you were literally throwing packages from houses that you stole from into other houses' front yards. No, I was not. But you're driving. Oh, I'm sorry. Why? So what, I mean. I apologize, sir. I don't want to be in any more trouble. I'll do whatever. I'm just, I mean, have you been driving all over town? Did you guys just start? No, I just, I thing? just started. I promise. So how do you know him? I don't know him for real. I was just. What's his name? Coda. Huh? Coda. Coda? How old is he? He's only 15. Okay. Can you please let me know what's going to happen to me? Can I get, like, cited? Can I get a, a bond? Yes, sir. I have work and I have dogs and a kid at home. So and why I, are you out doing this? Because I was trying to make my rent money and I didn't, I was scared because the lady just texted me and told me she needed some money. Who? 
The rent lady. You could go check my phone. She just said she needed money. So how do you know this kid? Like how because, did he get roped into helping you steal packages? Because I was helping. His mom asked me to help her while she got on her feet. And so she he was staying with me. But she didn't help me with nothing. And I'm trying. She don't. She gets food stamps from and everything. And I've had them for like six months. And she don't help me. And I don't know what to do anymore. So how many houses have you guys hit today? Not a lot, sir. I promise not a lot. I just want the least trouble. I return the packages and everything. I just can't. I can't get in trouble. I need. I, I got to go pay the rent where my dogs are. They're going to be out there tomorrow. And I don't know what to do. That's why I want to talk to my mom. I take a citation and go to court or whatever it takes. I can't go to jail. You don't want to go to jail? Well, perhaps you should have thought about that before going to steal, Nicole. Nicole then identified the 15-year-old with her as the child's close friend. She also tells the officer she began stealing in order to pay her rent. I'm sorry. Who's at home with your kid? No, nobody. It's his other brother. It's his brother. There's twins, and they're like kids to me, and I shouldn't have had him out doing this. So they're not your actual kids? No, I'm trying to get custody of them. Their mom said she was going to go to court for me, and she never went to court for me to get custody, so I've been doing Why it. Why would you get custody of them? Be because she asked me to help her with temporary custody. Because why? Because she don't have nowhere to live, and I did, but now I'm not going to have nowhere. My dogs aren't going to have nowhere. Isn't it strange that people are dropping off kids with Nicole to watch over them? At the end of the day, the whole thing about the kids might just be a made-up story that Nicole came up with in hopes that the officers would pity her and send her home. Whatever the truth is, Nicole is the last person anyone should give their kids to, especially considering how she used the 15-year-old with her to steal for her. I just need to know if I can get a what's gonna happen can you guys cite me and i get picked up or something well we're gonna figure that out you guys got a lot of packages there we gotta get through we gotta figure all this stuff out have you just been following the amazon driver around no i just was seeing what houses had packages in certain areas i didn't even get all so, of them so knowing what you know and knowing what you guys were doing why would you start with such an attitude as soon as this officer tried to pull you over you close the door and start screaming what you're getting pulled over no, for? No, I, I opened the door and I asked what I was getting pulled over for, and then I realized the taillights were off too. Law officials were also able to connect Nicole with seven different local thefts before she was later arrested that night. She currently faces multiple charges in connection with stealing packages from people's porches. On April 15th, 2022, in Westfield, Yanel Barrientos, the girlfriend of a local cop, found herself in the spotlight as captured by body cam footage. The Westfield Police Department responded to a disabled vehicle at the tricky intersection of Raymond Street and Mountain Avenue. Well, Yanel's honest confession of three drinks at a restaurant added a twist to her struggle with a right turn. However, the officer's suspicions grew with her inconsistent statement and faltering field sobriety test, ultimately leading to her arrest. Hello. That's not going to work okay. because I live here. Hi. Was one of you drive? I live here. No, 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 Was, and I live there. Were you driving? Yes. Okay. Yep, that's... that's okay. What did... Where did you, what did you, what did you hit? I think she hit. I hit that pole. That's okay. I got on the front of the yard there. Hi, officer. Hello, so where were you? If you look at my record, I've never been in a car accident. This yep. is all new to me. So where I were you? I apologize. Yep, so where were you I going? I was driving and I meant to make a right and I hit that pole. So wh where were you coming from? Right here. So you, on, on Mountain yes. Ave right here? Yes, and I meant to make a, a right and I hit the pole. I didn't see, I didn't see this pole, it's dark. So I meant to make a right, and I hit the pole. Okay. And my, my, um, like, the, like, whatever it is hit me in the face, the car. The airbag? Yes. Yep. It hit me in the face, and I, like, freaked Steve, out, because I've never been in this funny. situation in my life. He'll be there to relieve you shortly. Okay. How are you physically? I'm fine, thank is God. It, nothing, yeah. nothing hurts? No. Anything like that? No. Okay. But I freaked out because I'm like, damn, this is the first thing this ever happened to me. I literally got like on the top. Yep. So did you you hit that sign? Yes. When I made when I went to make the right, I hit like yes. Yep. I hit the corner. Would you? So do you know her? I live no. Here. You live there. You don't know. No. no. Okay. He doesn't know. Me. Okay. Would you be your license, registration, yes, insurance? Absolutely. 
Do you know, did you hit this? Yes, I hit this. Do you I know where you hit this? Yep. Do you know where you hit it? I don't think No, 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 I did. You hit the rock, which you hear. Like, I went to make a right, mm -hmm. and I hit this. And I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I hit this. Okay. That's fine. I meant to make a right. My and okay. And then I started crying. In a panicked state, Yanel explains to the officer that she hit a pole while trying to make a right turn at the intersection of Mountain Lab. She also describes the unexpected airbag deployment, expressing distress as it's her first accident. Can I show you my stuff in my car? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Did you guys see anything? No. No, okay. I'm, I came. No, but I was just asking that. Oh, okay. So, so what's gonna happen to my car? I got a tow truck this coming. This isn't normal, right? This isn't gonna be okay. I can't get any. I no, there's, get there's a there's a tow truck coming for it. I can't get to work tomorrow. No, no. So, this is a huge problem. No, like no. I'm new at my job. So where were you coming from today? I was having dinner with my best friend. We had a couple drinks at um. I'll tell you the name right now. Literally, like three blocks down. Mm -hmm. And I was on my way home, and I didn't see the sign. That's the honest truth. You could look at my history. I don't have parking tickets. I don't have problems with like hitting anything. I honestly didn't see the sign mm -hmm. and I hit it. And then I tried to like deviate from the curve yeah. to see what was wrong with my car. And it was like, so do you know, this where, is what happened. Where were you at? Do you know a town? Yeah. Where, New Providence. New Providence. And it, it was a restaurant. Yeah, it was. I've never been there because I just started working for my um employees like three months ago i want to say but mm -hmm. then where were you headed right now i was heading I, home where's home at for you i just right. can't even believe that i've it's never in my life look i can't even open my door so is my my car damaged yeah you know one? Oh, car is definitely damaged so can i get this fixed oh maybe uh, like, is this fixed? Like That's that? something you worry about with your insurance company on a later date, okay? Yeah, I get it. I get it. Do, do you have your driver's yes. license on you? Is it in the one in your wallet over here, Miss? Yes. No, your wallet's over here, so we can grab okay. it over here. If you can grab it, grab it. Well, soon, in her anxious explanation, Yanel discloses to the police that she had consumed three drinks earlier in the evening, raising suspicions in the officers' minds about a potential influence on her driving. All right, we're just gonna do some vitals on you real quick, just to sure. make sure you're okay. And I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. I did drink tonight, but I am not drunk. You can do every sobriety test you want to do on me. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not the kind to drink, to drink and drive, so you can do whatever you want. I'm not worried. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I did have three drinks, but you could test me. I'm totally fine. What were the three drinks that you had? But I'm, I don't want to, like, I'm, my boyfriend's a cop. My, actually my fiance, sorry. So I don't want to lie. I don't feel... You know, I just want to be honest with you yep, guys. That's the, that's the best thing I do. didn't do I didn't do anything that was wrong. I didn't, you know, I'm just being honest with you guys. I just can't believe this happened to me. My my new car. Just do your best to relax. My new it's gonna car. It'll be our S1 insurance as well. I know, but... It's going to be okay. I work so hard. I work really hard. <laughs> so it's upsetting. I'm sorry. I'm breaking. My mom... Can I pick up my mom's car, guys? Sure. Sorry, officer. I just, I had, I literally had three drinks, guys. You could test me, do whatever you want. I had Tito's and Club. I'm not gonna lie and say. And literally, I made a right and I hit that pole. I can't believe it. This is the first time in my life that I've ever, you could look me up. I've never gotten into an accident. Like, you guys could physically look me up and you'll see that. I don't have any problems with this kind of stuff. I think so you have I'm something. a little upset. I just need you to sign this. Of course. Just saying that you don't want to get transported. From no, no, I'm okay. I'm no, okay. I know. I'm just, I'm just really upset because I can't believe I hit a pole. I hear you. And there you have it. She just admitted to the officer that she had three drinks today. 
Adding to that, she mentioned that her fiancé is also a cop. Perhaps she's anticipating some special treatment, or this could be her defense strategy, insisting that she did nothing wrong and is well versed in the rules. And we're just going to do a couple tests. First, I just want to, you know, the, do your best to calm down. I know you're a little shaken up. I am. A little, just do, I'll hold calm down. I'll your phone your wallet, okay? Sure. Yeah, just, just calm down, deep breaths, be relaxed. You know, familiar with the English alphabet? Of course. You know, okay. If you could just say it from D to W, don't, don't sing it. Just, just say the letters from D. D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Okay. And then if you could just come over here, we're just gonna go go by the light right here. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do, get, you can that's, test that's me all you want, that's guys. That's good right there. Yep, sure. so just, just stay there. I respect feet, that. Feet together, mm -hmm. by your side. First thing is just gonna be an eye test. You're gonna follow the tip of my pen, just with your eyes only. Don't don't move your head, you see how like I move my I head? I get it, Don't I move your it. head, you just eyes only, okay? Do you have any eye problems? Do you wear glasses no. or anything like that? Nope. No okay. contacts, no. Nope. Okay, so just right here. It's, it's so, just so you know, guys, I'm trying so hard. This is just so weird. Yep, no. Nope, I hope you guys get it. Like, I'm 100% nope, okay. We understand. I get it. I know you have to do this. Yep, so just eyes only. Okay. Okay. So next is going to be a test. It's called the, the one-legged, uh, that's going to be the walk and turn. Okay. So what you're going to do is, don't, while well, I'm telling you this, just hands at your side feet together just just wait like that don't start until I'm done with the instructions so what you're gonna do is okay you're gonna put your left foot in front of your right you could do that right now so just just like this heel to toe so left yep left foot in front of your right hands to your side I'm gonna have you stay in this position okay so don't don't start the test until I tell you to you're just gonna watch me you're just gonna stay in that position when I tell you to you're gonna take nine steps it's gonna be heel to toe Oh, just stay in this, this can position. I, can you first demonstrate? Nope, just... <laughs> nope. I don't want to fail. Nope. You feel me? While, like... while I'm telling the test, I just want okay. you to stand like this, one foot in front of the... Okay. Yep. I, I just Did don't want to make a mistake and, you know... Turn right. Yeah. You I'm just go right in front of the left. Do yeah. whatever you have to do. Okay. So I'm going to have you put your... Take your right foot. So right? right foot, put it in front of your left foot. Okay. Just like this. Heel the toe. Just like this. Okay. And then while I'm telling you the instructions... So just can you do... Right on... Hands at your side. While I'm telling the instructions, I just want you to stay in this position. Okay? Yeah. Okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take nine heel to toe steps when I tell you to. So like like this? I'm gonna nope, I'm gonna explain it. Just oh, don't. Oh, okay, okay. Yep, so just you're gonna explain it. Yep, so just okay. just stay in that so position. Just stay. Okay. Then you're gonna you're gonna count while you walk. You go one, two, three. I'm only doing three steps, you're gonna do nine. When you get to the end, you're gonna take a few steps around like that. I'm gonna explain it again, okay? I'm tired then you're gonna take. Guys. It's just very hard. Yep, for just me. do your best to, to follow the directions, okay? Okay. Hands at your side, stay in this position. Yes. You want heel to toe, okay. right foot in front of the left. Heel to toe. Heel to toe. You're gonna to take nine steps. Don't do it now. I'm gonna explain it to you. And you're gonna count out loud, looking down your feet. One, two, three. I did three, you're doing nine. Then take a series of small steps around like that. And you're gonna go back. One, two, three. Again, I do three, you're gonna be doing nine. The whole time you're gonna go heel to toe, hands at your side. I want you to count the steps out. I got it. You, you understand all these directions? So my question for you, officer, is should I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, turn, and do you want me to go straight? Or no, what is gonna, it exactly? If you, you wanna step you want back, me to go in the, back that way? Yep, can you step back in this starting so position? One, Nope, just start in the standing position where I had you before. Okay. I'm going to explain the test to you one more time, okay? Yes. Right foot in front of the left. Right foot in front of the left. Yeah. This so, way, though. Are you want correct. me this No, way? you're going this way. This way, okay. And then you're going to, exactly how I did. I went straight, then I turned around backwards the same exact... So copy you. Exactly. Got it. You're going straight down here, turning around, going straight back. Okay. But again, st stay in the starting stay position. In the Got it. Right in front of the left. Got it. You're going to go one, two, three. Again, you're going to do nine. And then you're going to take small steps around. You're going to do heel to toe steps. So that means on top like that. One, two, three. Again, I did three, you're doing nine. Make sure they're heel to toe steps along that line. Do you understand these instructions? Okay, yes. you can begin. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, Can I start all over? No, just, just keep going through it. <laughs> just get, keep going through it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Turn. Back oh, along the line. Up. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Face that off. Do you have any, any injuries in either your legs, any prior surgeries, anything like that? Okay, so the next thing I'm, I'm going to do for you, now while I'm explaining these instructions, put your feet together like this, hands at your side, just stay like this while I explain it to you, okay? You're going to choose one foot or the other, doesn't matter which one. Don't do it. I'm just going to show you it, okay? Hands at your side. Pick one foot. Excuse me. I think my mom is gone. Nope. Just, just no, ignore it. Okay. Yep. Just okay. ignore it. You got to focus on the test, not anything else, okay? I'm sorry. My yep. mom is just really Just, just focus on her. Feet together. Hands at your side. Okay. Okay? I'm going to explain it to you. Pick one foot or the other. It doesn't matter which okay. one. You're going to lift it like this. Nope. Don't start until I tell you to. Keep your feet together. Hands at your side. Don't start until I tell you to. I'm going to explain the instructions got to you. It, when I'm all done, I'll ask you and then you'll do it, okay? Okay. So hands on your side, you're going to pick one of the foot, it doesn't matter which one. You're going to lift it up approximately six inches off of the ground like this. You're going to point your foot out so that your foot's parallel. And then you're going to count to 30 like this. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. While you're doing this, I want you to be looking at your foot. So you see I'm looking at my foot like this. You're going to count to 30. I only counted to five. But you're going to count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. And then when you're all done, after 30 seconds, you're going to go down, put your hands on your side. Do you understand these instructions? Yes. Okay, let me begin. 1,000, 1, 1,002, 1014, 1015, 1016, 1017. Despite undergoing these standardized field sobriety tests, or SFSTs, there persists a sense of dissatisfaction among law enforcement officers. The concern deepens as it becomes apparent that Yanel has not executed the tests correctly. Well, the accuracy of these tests is crucial in determining a person's impairment, and Yanel's inability to perform them accurately raises red flags regarding the seriousness of the situation. You're going to follow the tip of the stimulus with your eyes and your eyes only. Do not move your head. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. I apologize. Follow the tip of your stimulus and the tip of the stimulus only. Give me one second. <laughs> We're almost done. <laughs> I just can't believe this. <laughs> I'm staring at the point. I know. I, know. <laughs> I don't know. Why. I'm not lying there, to you. There is no, eyes only on okay, her. okay. I'm not lying to you. I'm not drunk. I'm not anything. You're just by accident at the okay. pool. I'm not anything. I'm not a drug addict. You can look me up. I don't ever have any problems with any cops or anything. Listen, listen, there's nothing to do with that. I know. It just no, bothers listen, me because I drank and it looks like I'm under the influence. Yeah. I don't... Okay, listen. So, so... I know. I'm sorry, guys. I just can't. Like, I can't even believe that this just happened to me. This officer is going to explain to you what's going to happen further. Okay? Yeah, like, what happens? Okay. I have to go to work so, tomorrow. Yep, so, no, based on the test... <laughs> We do find you under the influence of something, okay? So due to your impaired... I mean, I, I'm not yeah. going to lie to you. Yeah. I drank, but I'm not... 
Yep, listen. I'm not like drunk. So, I'm not so unfortunately, I do have to put cuffs on you right now, and we <gasps> no. have to go. We have to go to the police station. Can we do the test again, please? No, no we have to. No, no, no. I don't want so to listen, 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 no, listen. No, listen. Just, just listen. Call my boyfriend. Listen He's real quick. Detective. I hear you. Listen real quick. Please. You gotta stop talking and listen. Okay. Sure. We're going back to the police. This so doesn't mean you. Doesn't mean you're guilty. You're gonna blow into a box. I've never done this in my life. Listen. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. No, please. Listen, listen, listen. I'm sorry. There's nothing. Nothing. Please, ma'am. Please, guys. He's not a bad person. You're not a bad person. Please, you're not a bad person. I'm scared, guys. Please don't put me in cuffs. You have to. You're being placed under arrest. If you don't put your hands, you're not a bad person, guys. Please, guys, I beg you. If you don't put your hands behind your back, you're going to be charged additionally. I don't want you to get charged. I know that I'm scared. What's your first name? My name is Yannel. Yannel. Okay. I've never we gotten in trouble listen, in my listen, life. Listen, listen, Please listen. don't get me Relax. in trouble. Take, take, listen, do me a favor. Take a deep breath, okay? <laughs> but I'm being arrested. Why? I'm not alone. I, it's just a I don't do anything okay? bad, but no, why arrested? Okay. But why arrested? Is there anything you need from the vehicle? Your vehicle. Is there anything you need us to take out? You have your purse in there? Oh, you just, I'm just going to put the seatbelt okay. on for your safety, okay? Oh, sir, I'm, I'm arrested. Look, this yeah, feels yeah. really bad. Can you just sit in the back here? No, we, we can't, unfortunately. But it's a short yeah. ride. Yeah. It's only two minutes to, okay. to the headquarters, okay? Officer. Yep, it's only two minutes, okay? What, what do you got in the car? Do you need house keys or anything that are on the key ring? Okay. Please. I got your purse and then yeah, your yeah. wallet and your phone, okay? That's all you, you got in there? And my key. They're on the ignition? I don't know where they are. Oh, they're in the car somewhere? Wait, 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 please, please don't tell me. My parents, my, I respect my mom and dad so much. I don't want my mom and my dad. Yeah, just do, just calm down, okay? I know, it's okay. Listen, it's okay. We're going to take, just, just relax. I'm going to come with you in a minute. I just I don't got a response. Want to call mom. I'm going to respond to another job. Home. Listen. My guys, are, my guys are good. Despite a brief tussle, the sergeant managed to put handcuffs on and Yanelle was headed to the patrol car. She faced the consequences of her actions as she was issued three tickets. One for driving under the influence, one for reckless driving, and one for careless driving. In court on July 28, 2022, she was found guilty of driving under the influence. Well, the court imposed a total fine of $790, revoked her license for three months, and told her to spend 12 hours at an intoxicated driver resource center. Remarkably, the other two tickets were dropped as part of a deal. Just as she vehemently denies being drunk, there's another person who clings to the hope that her brother, a cop, can somehow rescue her from the consequences of her actions. On June 23, 2023, in Westfield, Tamala Bean, a 44-year-old, was arrested for DWI after crashing her Jeep. Soon, officers noticed alcohol on her breath, despite her denial of drinking. The discovery of prescription meds in her car heightened suspicion. The sobriety tests didn't go well, ultimately leading to her arrest. You mean anything in particular? No, not at the moment. You can just hang with uh, Pete real quick. That's the only guy. Uh, a woman. Uh, my my ex husband came there and was like confronting me. Okay. So. Alright. Right. Yeah. Can I stand yeah. over here? Yeah. I'll sit where I'm not. Is this your car? So this is so a friend of mine is doing like construction on their house. Okay. And it's their car. That they like parked at oh, my house. Well, I'm going to need a tow for two. Okay. Where are you coming from? I was coming from my friend's house on Walnut Street. On Walnut Street, where are you going? I was just going home. Where were you driving to? Were you coming this way or? If you tow for two, you can get home now. Okay. <clears throat> How are you feel right now? Please, please. Huh? Yeah, no, I, I mean. You feel good? I mean, I was upset. Like, that's why I was upset. Yeah, okay. What were you doing at your friend's house? Anything particular or...? No, she's just having trouble with her, like, with her boyfriend. I was just there. My ex-husband came and, and like, caused a commotion. So, okay. I left. Are you heading home? Mm -hmm. uh, have you had anything to drink tonight? No. Okay. 
How's it? Do you have any head injuries or anything? No. Did you I'm, hit anything? No, I'm there. I'm fine. Well, you just stay here. I mean, I'm fine. You're fine? Yes. Okay. Just stay here. Well, Tamala instantly reported her ex-husband's disturbance. She explained leaving her friend's house because of her ex-husband. And when asked about performing a sobriety test, she denies drinking. But this is later proven wrong. Just wait and watch. Do me a favor, okay? I'm just gonna put this light up because I want to see your eyes real quick. I'm gonna just put you through some tests, all right? I just want to yeah. make sure you're okay. Yeah, I mean, I was just upset. I mean... I know, it's okay, but I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just going to tell you what it is, okay? Talking to you, I'm not the only one that observes it, but we can smell an odor of alcohol coming from you. That's why I asked you, did Five you do anything driving. before you came out tonight or before you no. drove? You said you was at a friend's house. Pretty you didn't say perfect. anything else, but like I said, I'm smelling an odor of alcohol coming from you, okay? Um, so right now, I just want to perform some tests just to see if you're okay. If you're okay, we'll help you get home or whatever the case is, and I'll be that for the night, okay? So do me a favor, just look at my finger, okay? Just follow the finger, okay? Don't move your head. Do you have any head injuries, any concussions, or anything no. that we need to be worried about? Are you wearing any contacts at this time? All right, just keep your eyes on that finger and just follow the finger, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're just going to do some tests now. Just follow the finger. All right, don't move your head. No, keep your head straight. And one last time, okay? okay? One last thing. Just gonna check going up, okay? Just follow mm -hmm. my finger. Keep your head straight. You wanna pull one of your vehicles up just so we can you say you're not hurting anywhere? No no body parts hurting at this time? No, not at this time. Okay, you, you want to get checked out at all? By the squad or anything? I feel, I feel good. You feel okay? All right. How about this? How well do you know the English alphabet? How, how far did you graduate? Did you graduate high school, college or anything? Yeah, I graduated college. You graduated college? So you're familiar with the English alphabet, correct? Yeah. Go ahead. All right, do me a favor. Can you just say the uh, English alphabet from the letter C, Charlie? To letter W, whiskey, okay? Sure. Don't sing it, just say each letter out loud for me, alright? C D E F G H I J K L M F O G H I J K L M F O G. It's hard, right? Well, take your time. O Q R S T U V W. That's where you want to sound? Okay. Alright. It is, I mean, it's hard, I mean, it's hard to do. I got it's it. It's not I something it. you do every day. <laughs> no, absolutely. I got it. I understand. Well, she failed the field sobriety tests miserably, unmistakably indicating that she was under the influence. However, it was not easy for the officers to get her to admit that she was under the influence while driving. My brother's a cop. I, I totally understand. Oh, yes. Okay. Where is he a cop at? Arlington, Texas. Okay. That's the family. Gotcha. All right. You said you was helping out a friend you were talking to? Okay, how did that go? She was going through some things? I mean, she's still with him, so. It's up, you can help people as much as you want, but it's up to them to decide, I guess. So, so not successful, but. Go this way, please. This is like more on a downhill, so. So um, do me a favor, just step over where this officer is. Just walk over to that officer. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Mars, before you start, she's been on medical attention? I asked her several times, she said no. She doesn't want any medical They're attention. They clear up. Huh? They're asking before they clear up. Do you want to, once again, you have I'm, one? Mark, I'm fine. You're fine? Yeah, okay. She says she's fine. Okay. All right. All right, do me a favor, follow this line, go stand on that line, uh, where the light is, facing to your, towards your right, facing towards your right. You're facing me. Right? Yeah. Okay. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to go, I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do. Once I tell you to start, that's when you start the test, okay? Mm -hmm. So in order for you to start this test, I need your, both your hands down at your side. 
Okay, I need your left foot on the line. Pretend there's a line in front of you. Put, put your left foot on that line. And directly in front of it, on a heel to toe manner, put your right foot in front of your left foot. Hold that position. Do not start. Do not move until I tell you to do so, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. When I tell you to do so, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps. All right. You're going to count out loud. Once you get to your ninth step, you're going to mm -hmm. take a sit. You got to stay in that position. No, I know. I know. I'm, I'm, ner I'm nervous. I'm okay, nervous. which is fine. I understand. But once again, you got to stay in that position that it puts you I'm in. I'm listening to you. Hands down at your side. All right. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and pick up your feet. Pick up one foot nine inches off the ground. Count out loud for me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Sorry, my core is not what it should be. Well, she failed the field sobriety test. She also mentioned that her brother is a cop, suggesting that it might spare her from arrest or that she knows the law very well. However, there's no one above the law, and this will soon be evident. Check this out. So this is what I need you to do, okay? Mm -hmm. I need you to turn around, put your hands behind your back, okay? Unfortunately for tonight, you are going to be arrested for a DUI, okay? I haven't done anything, but... Turn around. Well, we are gonna go down. To, we're gonna go back to headquarters. And you'll do that part. All right. For, for right now, you're being placed under arrest. Sorry, I'm getting caught up in your shirt. Tamala Bean received several summonses, including charges for operating under the influence, refusal to submit breath samples for testing, failure to observe stop or yield signs, and failure to possess a driver insurance card. Stay in the car. Stay in the car. Stay in the car. Get back in the car. Starting with this unidentified man, who on January 21st, 2021, was pulled over by an Atlanta police officer. But rather than waiting for the officer to come towards him, the man got out of his car and started threatening the officer. Okay. Go, bro, straight up, I'm bro. not. Go play with me, bro. Call oh, back up. Well, bro, you need backup. Stop playing with me, bro. Straight up, bro. I don't got time for the police, bro. Okay. You got the tags in your hand, I promise. Okay. I'm crazy. I'll right, take that bitch. Okay. Come on, man. Stop playing with me. Bro. Now, usually, the first thing you want to do in a situation like this is to relax and calmly speak to the officer. But our friend was clearly in no mood to chat. So, is this your car? Yeah, it's mine. Yeah. Okay. You said you don't have your license. You got it on me, bro. I'm, I'm ordering it right now. It's in the way in the okay. mail, bro. That's fine. So, yeah, I know. Are you the registered owner? No, of the no car? I ain't the registered, but my brother is. Same last name, same everything, bro. Please don't come on no tough shit, I promise you, don't. Bro, don't come on no tough shit, bro. I'm tired of y'all, bro. Y'all starting, start starting to pull me over every day. This shit is you so Listen day. to me, okay. I don't you. give a I don't give a bro. Okay. The GPS at the last minute, the GPS told me to turn right at the last minute. I had to turn right. I'm not worried about All right, that's what I'm saying. So I had to speed up a little bit just to get over Whenever you, real, real fast. That's what I'm saying, okay. bro. I was like, let me find my driver's license number first. You just gonna look for that? I'm gonna look for it, yeah, I'm gonna look for it first. That's what you asked for first, right? Saying you were driving above the speed limit because your GPS suddenly made you turn right at the last minute isn't just silly, but a very ridiculous excuse. Where's that no, out of? Huh? Where's your license from? My license is from Illinois. Illinois? Illinois. Yeah. Okay. Well, bro, all that tough and all that standing like you finna, you ain't tough, bro. All right, what else? I haven't seen from the car. Here okay. go. you. Oh, you fat. You can't me, bro. Here you go. You're fat. So, you cannot so, so, with these bitches, bro. With these, you me. All right, so listen. Yeah. What's, what's the deal? Because I don't like the police. Y'all pulling me over every day for dumbass. Shit. The first time the brake lights, I had, I, I just, the brake lights was off uh, the other day. Okay. And I just realized that shit like okay. 15 minutes ago. Couldn't even get a on me a ticket on some. Okay. Like, shit, bro. Nothing I can do I about that. I know I like ain't I nothing to do about it. I'm tired of getting tickets okay. and all this. Okay. Shit. Okay. Paid this. 
Okay. I just got my license back type right. shit. I just ordered another one, bro. Now I'm getting one ticket, two tickets, back where I just bro. Yeah, I'm mad, Can I bro. talk for a second? Yeah, you can talk for a second, bro. All right. One, leave me the bro. Real. Usually, when officers meet people like this, they're either drunk or high. This man is neither, leaving the officers perplexed and confused. However, one of the officers on duty was in no mood to find out what was wrong with him and immediately arrested him. These niggas, bro, they, all, they only do this body comes when everybody comes. You know what you do when everybody comes, you just crack the whole car and ain't shit gonna happen, bro. You just f***ing fall outside of this. No, it's not no fact. It's the truth. 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 That's okay. I can beat your I know I could. I know I could. I'm going to jail, bro. Bro, I don't give a f***. Bro, I want to go to jail. Despite having bought himself a ticket to jail for threatening the officer, the unidentified man still continued to repeat the same thing over and over again. No, for real, remember me, remember me, remember me, for real, remember me, remember me, bro. I'm one in a million, bro. Remember me, bro, for real. Remember me, for real. Come and find you, bro. I'm gonna find you, bro. I'm gonna find you. Put me in the car. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna find you, bro. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna find you, bro. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna find you, bro. I'm gonna find you. I don't know where I'm the dang thing is. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna find you. You gonna figure this out. Put me in the car. Yeah, Do some fucked up shit to me. I'm gonna find you, bro. This is a Have a seat. Bro, stop pushing me so. Have a seat. Bro, okay, when I get out these guns, bro, what you gonna do? I will kill your stupid ass. For those who don't know, threatening the police, or even attempting to do so, can lead to serious criminal charges. And for some reason, this unidentified man either didn't know about this law, or was just comfortable with leaving his freedom behind and going to jail. You racist <laughs> You racist <laughs> Turn the traffic stop to an arrest, you <laughs> All that sarcasm, nigga, I spit in your face. You hear me? In the handcuffs, I will spit in your face. In the handcuffs, I will spit in your face. You will me. And if you ever put your hands on me the wrong way, if you ever put your hands on me the wrong way, I'll kill you. Oh my dear sister. And put that on camera, nigga. If you ever touch me and mishandle me, nigga, put your hands on me the wrong way, I'll kill you. Oh my dear sister. You. you heard what I said? That's not a threat. If you ever. Put your hands on me the wrong way. I'll kill you. Straight up. I'm a gangster. While the officer took the man to prison, he tried starting a conversation with the unidentified man, probably trying to understand what was really going on with the man. Do you live in Georgia? I don't hear you talk about white man. Okay. Oh, bro, I keep mumbling on your bro. I'm not mumbling. What'd you say? All right, you gotta listen. I asked if you live in Georgia. Bro. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. Yeah, I live in Georgia right now. Okay. Yeah. And I'm a gangster, sir. Alright. And I run shit where I go. Okay. Because I'm a real certified gangster. Okay. In the end, the unidentified man was charged with speeding, disorderly conduct, and terroristic threats. He was also transported to the DeKalb County Jail. On December 5, 2022, at 12.33 a.m., deputies rushed to a tumultuous scene at a St. Pete Beach bar. The on-site security manager and a bar employee reported a peculiar incident involving a man, Officer Henry Kapouch, caught in the act of urinating on the ice machine. The security guard and the employee tried to stop him and escorted him off the property, but he became aggressive with them. Despite attempts to intervene, the situation escalated. The employee and the security guard guided the officers towards the beach where they spotted Henry and his girlfriend. So what, what happened exactly? Uh, I, I go back to go get ice to the bar, and I see him with, he whipped his, uh, yeah, they cut off the dick out and he's pissing in the ice uh, bucket. I just poured all the pee out and then he's being uh, verbal, abusive, and then he got physical and inhumane. So the first person full time twice. And we're just trying to get him to go. And Do you want to press charges with a battery on him? On you? Uh, so it's the, 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 the Yeah, sure, yeah. Okay, do you have your ID with you? Yeah. Okay.
And, and then, then he's what? trying to be like tough. The big macho man? Yeah, big macho okay. man, yeah. And then what happened? So he got in your face? Yeah, he got in my what face. Was it? Do you remember what he was saying? Just the same verb, verbal, verbal, like, like bad like words. That's fine. You can say it all, bro. So I told him, like, hey, bro, people use the ice out of here. That's those ice buckets. And he went back and forth with me or whatever. He started to come out. Um, I told him he had to leave. He said, I'm walking out the front. I said, walk out the front or you go out the side or whatever. Um, he's like, I go where the f I go. I'm like, okay, whatever, man. Just get out of here, bro. And uh, he, he turns around, he pushes me, pushes. Danny comes up, steps up, pushes Danny. And I get up on him. I did grab his arm and grab his stomach. Like, bro, don't do this right now. His girlfriend screaming and stuff like that. Don't do it, whatever. And um, he began, he started to walk out. So, and then he was just cursing at him. Yeah, he got off of my case. But he did pee in the ice bucket. I mean, Danny called 911. I wasn't going to do it, and I really don't want him to get in any trouble like that, any big trouble over that. But, I mean, it's on Danny, you know, because Danny made the call. I wasn't. Did he make any other statements, like threatening to hurt you or anything like that? Nah, or? nah, he stopped. He stopped. When he wants to press charges for 38. The bar employee and manager are recounting an incident to a police officer. The situation began when the employee witnessed an individual urinating into an ice bucket at the bar. Such a disgusting act one can do. And of course, this was not only unsanitary, but also disrespectful to the establishment and its patrons. Hey, you're gonna get tased! Hey, if I get you, you're gonna get tased! Hey, you're gonna get Get tased! Get the on the ground! Both of you on the ground right now! Get on the ground! Yeah! Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Hey, back up, but don't talk to me. No, we're good. I don't give a about your badge, dog. Guys, we're not. Hey, dog. What's going on? We're working on the hotel. Dude. Guys, what's going on? Stand up. I am standing up, dude. Jesus Christ, dude. Yes, for life. Okay. Hey, 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 well, Henry's girlfriend saw the police and started running, but the officer caught up with them after a small chase and handcuffed Henry. While the police were telling Henry to stop, he kept saying that he was with the Chicago Police Department. This made the situation more complicated. Okay, sit down. You're gonna push me here? You're the toughest guy I know. Congratulations. Right here. Look at you. Yeah, your oh, precinct man. would be real proud of you. It's the fourth precinct honor. Yeah. It's 140%. Yeah, I'm sure mm -hmm. they'd be real proud of you. Get Sit down. Here. Sit down. <laughs> you stand up like that again, you're going to taste. Think of plane. Yo. Bro, I'm sitting down. I'm sitting on the bench. Bro, you're about to dump. I'm sitting on you the bench. You can't like that, bro. I'm sitting on the bench, man. Jesus Christ. What the fuck are you talking about? That's just sitting on the bench, dude. Sit on the bench, bro. You, you, you can't chest up. Yeah. I'm sitting on the bench. Back up, dude. I'm sitting on the bench. Henry. Sit on the bench, Sarge. Hey, Sarge. Henry. Sit down. Mm -hmm. Buddy. It's right here. Mm -hmm, buddy. All right. Good, good, good. Is this a, is this a Tampa Bay police? It's a Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. Pinellas, it's a what? <laughs> Bro, sit <laughs> down. Well, you keep pushing my face in the wall here. Yeah, if you keep standing you keep up. Face in the wall here. Hey, have I showed any resistance? Yes, you keep, have I showed keep resistance? You're about to get arrested for obstruction. Have I shown Back resistance? off. I'm not kidding. Hey, Sarge. Henry, hey, Sarge. Henry, stop. Sarge. Hey, partner. I need you to relax for a second, okay? I am. Oh, but listen to me. Listen Henry. to me. Henry! I've been here for a few minutes. You've been nothing but yelling. Relax. Henry. My body cameras right are on. Now. Just relax. Henry. You guys are not making things better for yourself. Henry. One thing at a time. Young lady. I'm definitely not yelling. Kate, back away. I'm definitely not yelling. Just stay seated. Now I won't have to assist you back down every time. Assist me back down? Yeah. Henry. Have stop. I been screaming? Act like a great Yeah, you've been acting like a the whole time. Stop. Yes. I don't believe. Bro, I think you just drank too much alcohol and made bad decisions yes, tonight. Really? Yeah. I hate doing this to people that are say, wear the same That's uniform, right? But you make stupid decisions. Stop. This is what we have to do. Listen, I'm being serious, bro. I hate to do this to people. Am I talking or no? But I'm trying to get it through to your Am head. Am I talking or no? Go ahead. Keep getting louder. Let me get loud. 
You're, you're egging okay. me on like I'm talking. Stand up. We're going to put you in the back of the car. Go ahead. Well, after managing to restrain this aggressive individual, which was no easy task at all, it's quite conceivable to think about how he treated the officers and what he might have done to the manager and bar employee. However, he will soon have to face the consequences of his actions. Oh, thank God. I can, I can plug myself in. Don't. Please. Do you want me to loosen these? No, I don't. Don't loosen them. Don't loosen them. I'm, I'm taking off your watch. I don't need you to watch. We can't take it to jail like that. So. I, do I need you to take it off? Well, I'm going to anyways. You gonna left my left, my left hand? You just told me you didn't want it. I just said I didn't want it. You're losing it. Here. You're losing this left hand. You don't want it, so. You guys gonna both not touch me. Am I gonna take this guard? We don't have a big yes. squad. Use the sideways. Well, Henry was arrested and charged with battery and disorderly conduct. He secured his release from jail by posting a $650 bond. A spokesperson for the agency verified that he has been relieved of police powers. It's not the only thing he's been relieved of. In March 2022, in Marriott's Hotel Duval, the manager makes a call to the police as a female guest, Nicole Gutierrez, refuses to leave despite being barred. Nicole continually changes her story while claiming different mobility issues, which forces authorities to step in. Despite multiple attempts to assist her off the premises, Nicole was eventually arrested for trespassing. Well, to move her, the police used a luggage cart from the bell service. Yeah, you heard that right, a luggage cart. Check this out. Yeah, how you doing? Oh, okay, thank you. You doing all right? Yeah. Okay, well, the, the hotel just wants you to leave, okay? I can't really walk. Huh? I can't, I can't walk. What happened to your leg? I need to my knee. Okay. You don't have crutches? No. I'm sorry, it ain't, it ain't up to me. But somehow you made it up the steps and you made it across the lobby. So I literally you know. can't even walk. Huh? I literally can't even okay, walk. Okay, I will help you. It's literally an injustice for you to ask me. Like, I literally can't even walk. No, ma'am. Help you. Somehow you made it up them steps and you made it across this lobby. You're going to have to make it the same way out of the hotel. Look, sir, there's no reason. You why made it up the steps. steps. You made it through the hall. You made it this far. I will help you, but you're gonna have to go out of the hotel. I'm trying to help you I'm not, not go in handcuffs. I'm standing up at the front of the hotel for a reason with a broken leg. Okay, well, I'm about to put you in handcuffs and we're still gonna go somewhere. I'm you're not, not standing I'm up. I'm not getting into any handcuffs. I can't even stand up. I literally can't even stand up. I'm waiting okay, for if we have to, to pick you up, we'll take you out, but you're gonna get out of the hotel. And go where? To jail. I'm not going to jail. I'm gonna ask you one more time, then I'm gonna go ahead and put you in these handcuffs. How are Police you supposed to help me walk? Me Look, man, I, I'm not meaning to cause any Negative. trouble. I We're can't even talking. stand up. We're done talking. I need your arm like around me to help me walk That's out. What, didn't I say I was going to do that in the first place? The officers tried to help Nicole leave the hotel peacefully, offering assistance due to her claimed difficulty in walking. Despite their efforts, Nicole resisted, leading to handcuffs. In such situations, cooperation and communication are key to avoiding escalations. Had Nicole accepted help initially, it could have prevented further complications and potential charges. Dude, you're not f***ing me in this. That's ridiculous. You're being so rude right now. You know that I can't walk on this leg. I'm not being rude. You know that with a do dislocated patella, I can't stand on that. Get over here then if you want me outside and get me out of these cuffs. I, I can't move. Okay. I need to I, get me out of these handcuffs. I'm not going to jail. All right, we're going to help you up, okay? No, this is unfair. This is completely unfair. I'm not going to jail. I'm not going to jail for this. I, I've literally done nothing wrong. You need All to get right, me out of these don't, don't catch a resistance. Sir, I understand. I literally have a broken leg. You can't arrest me for having a broken leg. Look, that's honestly enough. Like, if with that, we can start walking outside. That's fine. What? Just you holding my arm like that. Okay. We can walk this way. I mean, you need to like be comfortable with providing like a little bit of support there. It's well, I'm trying. Super painful. Okay. I literally can't even move. Okay. Dude, you need to take these cuffs off. This is completely unfair. I've literally done nothing wrong. Well, you're under arrest, so that's the I'm reason. I'm under arrest, so I'm going, what? Oh, for what? trespassing. For, I'm not trespassing. I'm waiting for a room. I'm waiting for a room and I have a broken leg. I'm literally waiting for a room and I have a broken leg. That is completely unfair. Okay, 
Again, I didn't make that an arrest decision. Okay. You want to go down this? You, you, you want to go no, down the ramp? No, no, I don't want to go down those stairs. I want to go okay. down the ramp. Oh my God, this is so painful. I can't walk. Okay. You, you want to secure it? I'm having such a hard time walking. Okay. That's fine. I'm trying You'll to pick up this here. leg and it's hurting. You are under arrest for trespassing after warning. Okay. I'm not. I can't even stand up. Your officer literally ran away with my backpack, and you think that he's reason? Look, can you just help me out, please? I'm trying to leave. I'm, I am. Honestly, I, I don't want to stay here. Uh -huh. This is obviously like I'm paying so, for something here. So are we going to stand here or are we going to be able to move? You need to like put your arm under my arm. Oh my god, no, no, no. I'm in so much pain. Can you please, please put me down? You put you down? Stop? You're not even walking. You're literally making you it more painful. Walk. You're literally making it more painful. Well, are you going to walk? Or I'm trying to walk and I can't. You you may just have to pick her up. <laughs> it's pick so her bad. Up. She's saying, she's, saying she's, so yeah, she's saying she's hurting. So. She can walk in here, she can walk out. She walk I out. can't walk out. My friend had carried me. My friend literally had her arm like hugged around my back. I can't walk like this. You want us to carry you? It hurts so bad. Okay, one, just one leg. I uh, can't move my other leg. That's not the hurt leg. I can't stand on this hurt leg. They're going to support you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it hurts so bad. Stop holding my arms like that. Well, that's. You told that, us you said he wants to support you. It hurts so bad. I just say, carry it. You want me to grab it? That's what we're gonna have to do. No, I don't want you to touch my leg. I don't want you to touch my leg. Alright, so we'll walk. Come on, come on. Come on. Those are our options. Maybe this far out here. I'm literally explaining it to you. Look, I'm, I've done literally nothing wrong. I can't even walk. Alright. Oh my sit, God. You're gonna sit down, you're gonna put your leg up. We're we gonna wheel you. Hang on, hang on, you have to put some support there. I'm not standing on this leg, I'm not standing on the leg. No, it hurts so bad. Come on. It won't heal properly if you do that. I need to go sit back outside. Where else are you? Oh, 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 wait, wait, don't let me down, don't let me down yet. I got you. Oh, oh. <laughs> what, are you, what is wrong with you? What are you, what are you yelling for? Get Negative. I don't Please want don't you do touching me. Get off of me. Wrong. Wrong. You're hurting my leg. You are hurting my broken leg that hasn't healed yet. No, get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. At this point, I don't even care. Get off of me. You are not. Get off of me. Start grabbing at my hand. Get off of me. Get off of me. About to catch another charge. Get off of me. No, negative. Get off of me. No, she needs to scoot back. Put her leg back. You need to get off of me. No, I don't want to pull you. You don't give a about my leg. Get off of me. I'm this way. No! I'm this way. No. Okay. Ow! Oh, ow! Oh, oh. ow! What thing's happening to your Nothing. leg? Nothing. Lift the leg up. Because I, I, I ain't got time oh, to be careful, doing this all day. Careful, careful, careful. Oh. Good. Look at that genius. Yeah. I'm trying to leave. Look, I've literally done nothing wrong. Okay. Yeah, she's gonna have to go in butt first. Okay. Dude, can you just drop me off somewhere? I look, I'm leaving. I'm okay, leaving. this is what we're gonna do. She got to get up and go that way first. Okay. Do you want to right. spin her around? Or? Can I please or look, sir? Around? I understand yeah. the warning. Make it less. Put your other leg up real quick. Yeah. Look, sir, can I just can I just say something, please? Can I just say something? Been Officer, look, I understand the warning, and I, I do apologize. If you I, don't mind, I want to peacefully leave the premises without going no, to jail. No, I told you we're way Please. past that. All right, we're going to help you up, and you're going to put all your support on that leg, and we're going to help you up at the same time, okay? When you go in, go in butt first, all right? And then I'm going, or one of these officers will help pull you back as we help push you in, okay? All right. Just now, she's realizing the consequences of her actions and offering an apology. However, the officer isn't buying it, considering all the drama and screaming she initially put on. So it's very clear she's definitely going to jail. This is illegal. You have to do something about right, Put your leg down. You work here. Yeah. Put your leg down. That's their job. I can't do it. No, your job is to get me a hotel room. This is illegal. I'm not paying for here. Put your leg down. All right, we're going to help you up. Without going to jail. All right. Ow, 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 
Hi. the backpack, the entire backpack. No way. I better not be missing anything from All right, that start bag. Start scooting yourself, bag. I swear to God, I'm already suing for somebody breaking my leg. Okay. All right, push back with your good leg, and he's going to help facilitate you in. All right? I can't move that leg. You can't push for that one? The good one? All right, this leg is going to be straight. You're going to sit straight oh, back wow. so this leg is, lay, is on the seat. I All can't right? even move. You got Dude, just let me just out. Push, push with your left foot. Push, push with your left foot. Oh my god, I can't push with yes, that left can. foot. God, there's, there's a brace on it. It's literally there's a I brace just, on no, it. No, you no. Know, it, it puts foot. pressure on the knee and it hurts Dude, really bad. This I don't way. know how else to explain that to you. You broke this my way. leg. You need okay. Left one. Good leg. Use the good leg to push yourself into the vehicle. Just slide towards me. Uh you're pulling my arm. I know, I'm gonna help you when you start pushing. Come on. You need to lift that leg or something instead because I can't lift it. And I don't want it to bump anything. Alright, you're gonna leave that leg straight as you sit back. I can't pull it. Because you're not using the leg. Arm, pulling that. You, me off, like, like, you give us a little bit more because the door is that close. There you go. Completely talk her way into this. I mean, literally 50 times. Like, please, please, please. What's up? <laughs> wow. <laughs> right here. Well, the officers look really frustrated on their faces as they deal with tough situations. You can see from their expressions that they are determined to keep going despite the chaos. They want to make sure justice is served and teach a lesson to those who think they can get away with breaking the rules. Alright. I'm gonna sneak in here and help her up. And then we'll guide her that way. was arrested for trespassing. When the mother of 25-year-old Shad Thyroid called 911 on February 23rd, 2022, many expected it was going to be for some petty crime or neighboring issues. Little did the officers know that in just a matter of minutes, they'll be working on one of the most gruesome and despicable murder cases in Green Bay, Wisconsin's history. Um, is this blood? I didn't mean for all this to happen and I'm like, I yeah, I'm sorry. That's what happened. It all started when Shad's mother was woken up by a knock on her front door two days after she last saw her son. Shad's mother, thinking it was her son, immediately went to the basement to check if Shad was there. When she didn't find him there, she went back upstairs. It was here that Shad's mother made a shocking discovery that will change the course of her life forever. A bucket with her son's head inside. When police arrived at the scene, the first suspect was Shad's 25-year-old girlfriend, Taylor Shabiznis. So they proceeded to leave for Taylor's house, where they found even more shocking discoveries. Hey. <coughs> um, is this blood? Does this look like blood to you? Or am I just tripping? A bloody footprint? You see this right here? Could possibly be wrong. Hey, who did that? Hi. 
Hi, Taylor, how's it going? Officer Russell with the Green Bay Police Department. Just make sure you ain't got nothing on you here. With Taylor. Contact with Taylor. Taylor, you have one more for your arrest. Just put your hands behind your back, please. Anybody else here, partner? You got blood on your hands here, too. No, on your hands. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to. What apartment is here? What apartment are you in? When police arrived at Taylor's apartment, they immediately spotted bloody footprints near her vehicle, and her hands appeared to have also been stained with blood. However, this was nothing compared to what the officers were about to find. Watch this window right here. 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 Go in here. Go in here. Come to the back of the apartments. That's where we're at. You come over here. Two more we find. If uh, 84 is here. Hands up! 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 Hands Nobody's armed? Nobody's armed. You sure? I'm sure. Get out of here! Everybody's in here! And now it's just going to come out! Get out of here! Go, 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 go. Negative, we got it up here. Taylor was later arrested and taken to jail. Here, she talks to a private investigator about what happened the night of the murder. Did you have s body at all? Any points or any type of sexual contact? You know, obviously the and stuff, but... Hmm? I grind it on, I put the in there. You grind it on? Yeah, I Did you ever put his in your Well, maybe you just grind on Did you see before that you performed a role on him? Yeah. And was that part of playing with him? Or? That is part of playing with him. That was part of playing with him. Did you? Uh, Actually, yeah. I, was, I was just mad. I was yeah. severing his head while I was doing that too well. So when, so it was, it was it only a couple hours before you, you severed his head? Probably. Or were you, did you fall asleep at any point in time? How long do you think you were in that basement? Because you didn't leave until like three or four this morning, right? But what about during the day? What did you do during the day? Um, um, I don't know, like I was, I was kind of like dozing off, like you know, not and out. He, he was dead already? He was dead. Was his head still on? No, I took that on. That was the first thing I took off. Okay. I wanted to According to Taylor, she and Shad used chains to choke one another as a form of foreplay. However, things would take a rather sinister turn when the two decided to put metal chains on each other. That night, Taylor held on too tight and continued to choke Shad even after she noticed he was coughing blood and turning purple. Having killed him, Taylor then proceeded to mutilate his body and sever his head from his body. I didn't mean for all this to happen, and I'm like, like oh, Yeah, I'm sorry. That's what happened. Well, you know, it's being a nice kind of mom and a sister and a dad and family, and it's more and more of being sorry, you know. You killed him. I gotta tell the sister story. Didn't mean for that to happen. You didn't mean to kill him? I did. But you didn't try to help him? No, I didn't. No. It, it works both ways. Like, I have no idea. Like, it. I mean, you was gonna die, so. I mean, I didn't, but at the same time, I woke up like, that's bad. I didn't I didn't know what to do because, like, he was gonna be like, ah, I'm a fucker. I didn't know. You know what I mean? Because, like, I don't know. Did you like it? I liked it. 
like I'm like what? Well, like it was, well, I didn't know what to do, but like oh sh I like this song. Well you knew and that you didn't want to call the police or an ambulance or anything, so Actually I thought about it. I thought right. about it. Mm -hmm. And then um I was getting angry at myself. Mm -hmm. Very angry at myself because I didn't have to now, the most scary part about this interview isn't listening to Taylor give a detailed description about her sinister murder, it's how calm and happy she looked while talking about it. Almost as if she enjoyed it and had taken peace and satisfaction in her actions. Taylor was later found guilty of first-degree intentional homicide, third-degree sexual assault, and mutilating a corpse. She was sentenced to life imprisonment without parole. In August 2022, in Albuquerque, New Mexico, officers responded to a theft incident at a local mall. The body cam footage captured the officers engaging with a woman suspected of stealing items from the mall. The officers approached her and requested that she drop her bags and surrender. However, instead of complying, the woman fled the scene and entered another mall. In an effort to apprehend her, the officers utilized beanbags to impede her escape. Despite the evidence presented, the woman vehemently denied the accusations. Hey brother, I got, I'll, I'll do the beanbag thing, you know, okay. people less lethal. I just figure we, uh, what do you... What do you think, brother? You wanna... Okay. You wanna, uh, you wanna step up with me? Yeah, I'll step up with you. We'll, we'll go there. There she is. Let's get her. Put your hands up. Put her off face right to me. Put her off face right to me. Just do what we say, all right? If you do what we say, you're not free to leave. You are being recorded, okay? Just do what we, do what we tell you, and of course... Put her off face away from us. Keep your hands on top of your head. Turn around facing us, okay? Turn around and face away from us. There you go. All right, keep your hands on top of your head. Ma'am, ma'am. Stop! Hey, stop! Hey, stop! Hey, stop! Stop! stop. Team bag, team bag. Well, after a pursuit, she was apprehended within the mall. Her attempt to evade officers met with a horrible failure, shattering any confidence she had in escaping the consequences of her actions. Have a seat. Have a seat. Okay, I'm going. Cross your feet for me. Like this? Yes. Okay, so, I'm also putting on the Albuquerque Police Department, okay? Okay. So, the reason why we're contacting you is because what was reported to us was that there's a robbery oh. at Caldwell Mall, okay? And there's a gun involved, so that's why we're contacting you, alright? Uh, okay. You match your description. So, before you say anything else, before I ask you any questions, let me read you some stuff that's important, okay? Okay, well, can you look to myself, please? You have a right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to your lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, won't be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights, exercise these rights, not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? Yeah. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to us now? Um, I mean, yeah. It's a yes or no? Yeah. Okay. You have a firearm in these bags over there? Okay. What's inside those bags over there? Stole some stuff from Victoria's Secret. Stuff you stole from Victoria's Secret? Victoria's Secret at the mall? Did anything happen between you and the security? No. No? I didn't even talk to security. So they didn't come up and try no. and stop you, nothing like that? Okay. No. Did you go to Spencer's when you were at the mall? Yeah. Yeah? Anything happened at Spencer's? Did you take anything from Spencer's? I took a shirt. Oh, a shirt from Spencer's? Then after Spencer's, did you... Is that when you went to Victoria's Secret or was it Victoria's Secret before Spencer's? Victoria's Secret later. Was it after Spencer's? Okay. So, like I said, we're just going to get you checked out for the injuries, okay? Do you have any questions for me this time, Jacqueline? Like, what's happening? I'm sorry? What's happening? Just any... Any questions, questions you may have about? Are we going to do? Yeah. Why? Well, shoplifting, resisting evading, and you know if we get someone to confirm that you know you are 
the one who pulled the firearm on the security guard. I didn't pull a firearm. You can't look at that, videos. That, I that, never that, pulled it. That oh, that I don't have to look at videos. I would actually look at videos and see that I do that. So, I mean, it may take a while for all that, but that's what we're being told, okay? So that's why we responded the way we did. In the end, the woman faced charges of being a felon in possession of a firearm and possessing a stolen firearm. Additionally, she is accused of tampering with evidence. The charges also include shoplifting, stemming from the initial incident that triggered the law enforcement response. These serious allegations point to a complex legal situation with potential consequences.